Mr. Cassie, Pastor Winston, greetings all our brothers and sisters. Um, please request me, God bless you. The musicians, praise the Lord. God bless all of you. Um, it's a very lovely to hear the music she played. It's praise you. God bless you, my brother.
But uh, Kaina, he loved Hannah so much that when he came to giving, the Bible says he gave her a, a world devotion. He loved her. And he gave her a lot, put it that way. Okay? But even though he gave her a lot, that was not enough. You see, sometimes we have a lot of things in the world, but we have no peace. We have no joy. We have all the life we give, we have all the money, all the wealth, all the fame, but we have no joy. So there was a case with Hannah. She had what she needed, but there was something missing. She wanted a child. And she prayed. She went into the temple and she prayed. She cried out her soul. She poured out her soul before the Lord. And what I want to say is that there's something in life that only God can do. There's something in life that only God can do. It doesn't matter what you think you are, who you think you are, only God can do that. Because she wanted the child, of course she knew her husband, the pain that she knew him. But they did not have a child. And then she wanted a child. And she knew what God could do. When we know what God can do, we connect with God. We talk to God. We connect to God. We ask God. And she did. She went to the altar and she prayed. And she cried out before the Lord. So when God opened a woman's womb and she conceived, it's not just so. It takes a miracle. It takes the hand of God. So she said to the Lord, if you give me a man child, I will give him back to you all the days of his life. Yes, preach. So we see now that when we a woman conceive and have a child, the Bible says the children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. So when God opened a woman's womb and she built a child, it is coming from the Lord. Yes. And so if it's coming from the Lord, it is reasonable for us to give that child back to the Lord. Which is what Hannah did. Yes. And she made a vow, she vowed unto the Lord, if you give me a man child, I will give him back to you. Yes. All the days of his life. And what we do, you know when the child was born, she gave to the priest. Life. And he was brought up. He was brought up in the house of God. Yes. He was brought up in the house of the Lord. Yes. You know, children these days, as uh, Pastor said, they don't sing the Sunday school songs in the morning. The Sunday school not keeping no more. Yes. Mothers are not sending their children to Sunday school anymore. Their children are not being taught yes. about God anymore. Their children don't know how to pray. In these days, yes. children get up out of bed. Mothers don't teach their children to pray. Yes. They don't teach their children about the Lord. Children are the heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Amen. Jesus says, suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not for this. For this is the kingdom of heaven. And we should try to keep them in the presence of God, in the fear of God, in the love of God. We should teach them about God. We should make sure that they attend service and learn about God. These days, these children are so far from God. They are far from God. They don't know about God. Ask the child, now you go to school now, ask to tell me about God, they don't know nothing about God. They, they don't know and nothing about God. So, here it is good that you give a child to the Lord and you're the Godmother. It is very good that you teach this young man about God. It's not just this one time that you come and you bless the child. That's not enough. 
the child must learn about God. By the mother, you know something, this thing that they teach me in school, now, I don't know if you know what's going on in the schools now, you know. The kind of books that they're putting in the schools, I see some of those books that they're not good. And also, you have to clean up that child in the fear of the Lord and understand what is right from what is wrong, what is good from what is bad. That's why you build up a child. We have to build up, train up the child in the way that it's go. And when it is all, oh, it never happens. I know from my own child, I was taught to pray. I grew up with my godmother. She was a God-fearing woman. It's so important when you feel it's a God fear, you know. Yeah. Because when you God fear, they talk to you about God. They don't talk to you about God. They talk to you about God. They say, Learn about God. You know who God is? There is one God. And we must serve God. We must do what is right. We must obey. We must do what is right. Children must be thought these things. They're not going to know if nobody tell them. How are they going to know? How are they going to learn unless we install? In them, the fear of God, the love of God. Tell them about love. Tell them hate is bad. Tell them peace is good. Tell them God is a God is a God. God loves them. Tell them about what God has done. Children must learn. They, they're not going to learn unless we teach them. They don't. You know, they, they, when I was going to school, they used to have some. Of the, they used to have. Um, I was. I, um, when before the school started, everybody came together and they used to sing. I said, well, "Thank you, sir." They used to have a set of devotion. Thank you. They used to have a devotion. They used to have a devotion. Everybody comes together. We were at Christian Sarah in the Bible. And before you go to class. Now the school, the school is turned away from God. And this is why the problem in this world today that people turn away from God. The school don't want God. They don't teach you the nothing to do with God. Religious knowledge. I don't think, I don't think they teach religious knowledge anymore. <laughs> but tell them about it. LGBT, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Tell them about that. Tell them about LGBTQ or whatever it is. Slap them on. No, they don't want to teach. We can't allow our children to be corrupted that way. We have to watch them. And sometimes, yes, we have to watch them. Tell the child, first stay away from the island. Don't let the teacher tell you the world and TV. You can be what you want. God made that child a man, a boy, a man child. And they will tell them in school if you want to be a woman, you can change. This is the case of the of God. And we have to tell our children. This is bad. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Corruption. You know something? The devil is in charge of this world, whether we believe it or not. And they have power, they have control the powers of the world. The president, the prime ministers are controlled by this. Who I mean? What the devil? The Bible says the devil is the prince of this world. Be careful. Keep the truth. Children. Mind what they see. If they have this tablet or whatever, that's what they have because some of these things on the tablet is not good. And they might be no one on the tablet and you know what they're doing. What is going through them? There's so much brain washing, brain washing, brain washing. Yeah. Keep an eye on your child. He can be a proper man of God. He can be a God-fearing man. He can be a man that loves God and works for the Lord. And he'll be a blessing. He'll be a fed in your heart, in your cap. He can be. But you have to keep him in the straight and narrow. Praise the name of the Lord. Keep him in the straight and narrow. Children are here to the Lord. So Hannah prayed so earnestly, earnestly to God, knowing that only God could give her what she wanted. You know, as I said, if only God can do some things for us, man, no matter what man do, man can't do it. Because I think about a woman who had 12 years, she spent all her living in a physician. 
12 years she spent in the penny she had. And no one to help her. But when she saw Jesus, she realized that Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Yes. Jesus is the answer. Tell us so that you know that Jesus is the answer. There's no other answer. Amen. Jesus is the answer. Hannah knew that Jesus was the answer. Amen. She knew that God was the answer. So she prayed, 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 and God gave her a man child. Praise the Lord. And she gave her child back to the Lord. Here, give him back to Jesus. Give him back to the Lord. Let him know God. Let him learn about God. Let him serve God. Let him you know, have a fear of God in his heart. And he'll be a blessing to you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.